Hey guys, welcome back to another ride. Uh, we got a new update today, 12.5.6.3. This is the end-to-end -end AI version, both on highway and local streets. Let's go test it out. So there's some new screens. I got this pop-up and now I get to choose the drive-in mode and the speed offset. So I'm just gonna stick to the default here and uh, see how that goes. And I'll show you how to change them if I don't like something. We'll confirm it and we're ready for our ride. All right, FSD is on. This is the new 12.5.6.3 version. I'm just gonna push the accelerator to get us moving. And this is our downhill test here with the speed bump at the bottom. Wow, it's slowing down way ahead of the speed bump. It doesn't accelerate downhill like the previous version, so there's definitely some noticeable changes even on the local stack. The smoothness is very good. The turn is still a little wide here. And we are driving, driving a little bit slower than previous versions. They would. It seems like everything's kind of slowed down a little bit. It doesn't accelerate as fast so far, and it doesn't slow down as fast. But it does start everything way earlier. So when it was slowing down for that speed bump we just passed, it started slowing down way earlier than before, and it was a great speed. It just ignores this sign completely, which is perfect exactly what it should do picks up the correct speed limit for this road of 25 miles an hour. I'm feeling really confident about this drive here. I think we're going to get one of our best rides yet. We're going to make a right here at the stop sign. We always have a problem on this road. It used to pick up the, uh, the speed limit is uh, 15 miles an hour from this road, which was also being picked up as 15 miles an hour. But this time it got picked up correctly. Wow, yes, okay, the speed limit is picking up correctly, 35 miles an hour, um, but I don't have a destination, so maybe that's why that's happening. I have noticed that discrepancy. ShopRite, Branchburg, New Jersey. Okay, here we go. And I always do this uh, quick test because it's a quick drive there and back and it lets me put out a video pretty quickly and then we'll obviously do more testing on the highway and uh, see how it behaves. Really good slowdown here for the railroad tracks, super comfortable. It's not accelerating here as fast as it normally is. Usually it's already at 35 or 40 miles an hour from previous, if you watch my previous videos, you will see that. So I'm gonna push the accelerator accelerator here and uh, I forget where the where's the driving mode here where I can change it all right so I can set the max speed here on the uh, Oh, the max speed is actually hidden until you set it to, uh, okay, so I don't know what it should be. I'm just gonna set it to like 75. So this way it covers all the ranges, highway and local roads. But uh, we're currently on the uh, average mode, I believe. Standard. We're currently on full starving supervised standard profile and uh, it gets into the right lane. Wow, it's already moving over to the left lane and pre staging for that turn. Uh, let's see, roll up and down to adjust max speed. Press left and right to adjust driving profile. Press left and right. Okay, okay. So here we go. The profiles are showing up on the top here. So I'm in chill standard hurry we're just gonna put it in standard i've been kind of writing on standard and uh or it, it was average before that's what it's called now it's standard but it feels really good and it pre-staged so far in advance 
for this particular turn. There was no cars in front of us. There was nothing pushing us to pre-stage. The smoothness is so good of this version. Like, uh, it's actually smoother than 12.5.4.2 that I was just riding around that I was pleased with the smoothness. It just does everything just a a little bit better, a little bit earlier, and with a lot more confidence. Like normally in previous versions, we would probably be like stomping the brake for that truck pulling out because it was so close out to the white line here. And uh, it just very naturally progressed through that scenario with no issues. Looks like we're gonna hit a red light here. I'd be curious if it would go on yellow if we were in, in the front because it used to just slam the brakes for all the yellows. But uh, we'll have to test that another day if we get an opportunity. I'll be very curious what it does in the ShopRite parking lot on this new version, if it's going to try to park itself or what, what, the, uh, what the outcome would be here. I'll let it just bop around the parking lot for a bit and uh, see what it's going to do. And then we'll just uh, drive back home and test out the rest of the drive. We're coming up to our turn here. Just the acceleration is so seamless. <coughs> In the previous version, it, it would accelerate a little bit too fast. And in this version, it just accelerates so smoothly. It's amazing. All right, we're coming up to the uh, speed bump here. We got a bunch of pedestrians crossing. We do have a guy sitting on the side of the sidewalk where we normally stop. So it looks like we're at our destination here. Let's see what it does. Put a blinker on, we're going into... All right, let's see if it's gonna pick out a spot to park in. Oh, it wants to so bad. It wants to so bad. Yes. Yes. Wow. Wow, guys. And it says autopilot navigation complete. The car just parks itself. We had an absolutely perfect ride. We had an absolutely perfect ride. We're just stopped here. That's it. I mean, like, it, the car just drove me to the store, from my house to the store. No issues whatsoever. New version 12.5.6.3. It's incredible. Wow. Okay. Uh, this is only the second time this has have, ever happened to me in five months. I had this happen on an earlier version, 12.5.1, I believe. But I've been trying so hard to get the car to do the same exact thing for, like... The past five versions and it hasn't done it and there you have it um so i'm gonna reverse it actually let me just end this trip since we have arrived and i'm gonna put us back to home and uh let's see what the car does will it reverse on its own no all right so i'm gonna disengage here and then reverse out of the spot and then we're going to have the car just take me back home from the store. This is so awesome. Wow. That, wow. I, I, I don't have the words for what's going on right now. All right. I just reversed. We'll put full self-driving on. I'm curious how it's going to handle this exit here. In the previous version, it was running over yellow lines and... Uh, but it did really good job on the on the exits, so I'll be curious if that got corrected. It's a little unsure here. It's given plenty of space to the curb that we have on the right. So uh, let's see here. It should be going a little bit to the right here. It's still going on the opposite side of the road. I'm just gonna take over here. Yeah, I was driving on the opposite side of the road where the left turn only lane was, so. Driving on the opposite side of the road. Wow, I can't believe that just happened. We like perfect drive. 
all the way to the store and back. Like, it's not a lot of miles, but this gives me a lot of hope for the uh, highway exit that I was having issues with and uh, like turn at work and the wrong left turn. We're gonna check all that out in future videos. Wow, okay, it did a really good job there coming out of that exit. It right away moved over into the lane out of the exit lane. And then because of the slower vehicle, it moved over into the passing lane here. The speed limit is set to 50 for some reason. I'm gonna bump that up to 60 because that's what people normally drive on this road. It's still going 50 in the 55. It looks like it's creeping up a little bit. Um, I think that they're using this uh, new max speed limit to actually train the model on all the different roads that we drive, what the speed limit should be, if I had to guess. But what a difference. That was so impressive. I still can't believe that happened. It's unfortunate that I had to disengage there because I had oncoming traffic and uh, it was making a mistake of going on the opposite side of the road there, driving over the yellow lines. Um, but other than that, so far this ride has been amazing. Let's see what lane it picks here. I prefer the left lane, but it's picking the right lane. I mean, sometimes it picks the left lane, sometimes it picks the right lane. I don't know what causes what. We got a car here in the lane. Wow, very human like. We had a car there in the lane and it was just, its butt was sticking out into our lane and we slowly just drifted right around it and got right behind the car in front of us. Like that is incredible. That is incredible. Like FSD is solved guys. FSD is solved. At this point, it's just tuning. All right, we had some crazy situation here. This lady is making the U-turn let the car handle the whole thing the person in front of us was just making a u-turn out of nowhere from the far right lane and it just stopped she just stopped in front of us because there was another car making a making a u-turn in the far left lane and the car handled it all no warnings no crazy beeping it just slowed down i had my hands over the steering wheel just just in case but it just slowed down and let the car get out of the way and proceeded like incredible. I'm so impressed with this new version. It definitely gave it a little bit of a break for that truck. It wasn't sure if it was gonna pull out or not because it was rolling through the intersection. But let's see how it handles these uh, railroad tracks here. This one it does fine with all the time good speed here crossing over we're gonna make a left here and uh, there's another set of railroad tracks here that has a giant hump over it if it slows down and it goes over those railroad tracks at a decent speed uh, like this would be the best ride I've ever had on any version so far the speed limit on this road is 35 we have the oncoming car there's no slow, okay. Ugh. There's no slowdown for the railroad tracks, but it crosses at the same speed as the other railroad tracks. So even though there's a, like a big hump there, it should probably slow down a little bit more. It doesn't seem to recognize that. So that's a little bit disappointing. But at this point, I feel like I'm just nitpicking because this ride has been so amazing great distance from the curb. I don't think we have to worry about hitting curbs. It's just, wow, incredible. And this is our last turn here. <sighs> Guys, this is amazing. Like FSD is solved. Like we are here. I just had a perfect ride. We are definitely well on our way. This version 12.5.6.3, first ride, incredible experience. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, yeah, so you're there for the next one. Take care of yourself, your family, and uh, have a great day. If you have any questions, 
you know, or if you see something in the video and, uh, you know, you want to find out more information, definitely put it in the comments below. I answer all the comments and I uh, look forward to our future conversations. Take care.